One thing I know so well is that Ender, when he's elected Taoiseach of our country, we can't take anything for granted for a moment, but you have to be driven by a conviction and certainty that you can do these things. And I do believe that with the ambition and hunger that he has and that our party has, that he will be elected Taoiseach. I know he is a good man. I know he is a good politician and will be a great leader of our country. And in these days of hyperbole, where everything is either a disaster or wonderful, to be good, to be a good person, to be a good politician, is really the only accolade that matters these days. Because that's what people are looking for. And we have such a man leading our party, and I know that. And I believe when we get into election mode, and when we roll out the qualities that this new Fine Gael has to offer, that will be reflected in the vote I hope we get in the general election. In terms of me, I've had an opportunity to talk about myself, probably to the um, too great an extent um, at previous meetings before. But all I'll say about me, uh, because my, my friends and my colleagues have given an update on what I've done so far, about the kind of politics I want to deliver in the constituency. Things are so serious. It doesn't just matter about the content of your policies. It matters about the tone of your policies and the tone of your politics, because that's what people are hearing. And my politics are very simple. If I oppose something, I'll propose something in its place. If I think something is wrong, I'll say what should be done right. If I think something could be done better in our constituency or for our country, I'll explain what that is. I fundamentally believe politics is about service. It's about serving the people. I'm so privileged to be in the office, I'm looking to take that a step further now and move into the door where I can be a messenger on behalf of the people. But I really believe that people are looking for a different tone of politics. Our party has that in our leader, in the policies and the ideas that we have. And that's what I'm looking to articulate in the general election and if I become a, a member of the Doyle. You know, I saw people protesting in Greece uh, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, um, a recent visit that I had abroad made me appreciate the consequences of that more than perhaps I did when I was <coughs> here in Ireland. And there's people over there in Greece carrying a banner in the recent protests saying, we're not Irish. Well, I don't believe there's going to be protests here in Ireland. I don't believe they're going to happen to any meaningful extent. But I do think we should take an opportunity to carry a banner wherever we can, say that we're not Greek. That we have within our country a degree of social cohesion, that we have a purpose, and that we have a conviction that will take our country forward. Fine Gael is the party to harness that. And we'll be a banner, we'll be carrying a banner that will say very simply, we're not Fianna Fáil, and we'll explain to people why that is. We'll do it in a positive, in a constructive, but a relentlessly determined manner. I started off my few words by talking about a return home that I made to my home in 2007. That was the start uh, of my few words here. I hear people who are accomplished storytellers say there's no power more powerful than the power of an imagined end. Well, I think here in politics here in Ireland, what people are now looking for is something more powerful than that. They're looking to be imagined they're looking to see created in front of them a new beginning. They don't want to see an end. They want to see a journey. They want to see a foundation which they can buy into that will show them that our country can be secure again. Our historical heritage as a party has been to make our state secure, to stand up against turbulence within the state and outside of the state. Because of the way Fianna Fáil have recklessly misgoverned our country, we will have to reclaim that heritage again. We will have to show the people of Ireland that we have what it takes to make the country secure, safe and prosperous again. We have the leader to do that, we have the ideas to do it, we have the tone to do it. And I've long imagined that when the next general election takes place, when the cameras in the RTS are looking in onto the RDS, Sean O'Rourke, Vincent Brown, Miriam O'Callaghan, whoever it's going to be. They'll be sitting there around the county with all the other talking heads. And somebody will say, we're getting a result in for Dublin Central. And there'll be a silence. They'll say, my God, that guy done it who was one. 
in a gale has won, and look at the way they've done it. That's the moment which those people looking in will know our party is heading into government when we do it here. Right here, right now, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do everything I can for. I've given all my heart and soul to previous elections, but my God, I have so much more heart and soul to come. That's what I'm going to put into it. I thank you for your support in doing it, and I ask you for your commitment to make sure we deliver that for our party, but far more importantly, for the people who are privileged to serve.